Hello everyone, it's me, Carson K here, and today we are going to be doing Tower 3D Pro, uh, Raleigh-Durham International Airport. I just got this game earlier today. For those who don't know what Tower 3D Pro is, it's an ATC simulator where you can be an air traffic controller, and it's basically an ATC simulator. It's in the name Tower 3D Pro. You're an air traffic controller, and you can basically do whatever you want. You can tell planes to do stuff. So that's pretty much a good enough explanation. And without further ado, let's begin. Sometimes the uh, loading time can be really bad. Southwest 4798 requesting push and start. Southwest 4798 pushback approved. Expect runway 23 left. Ground 23 left pushback approved. Southwest 4798. I downloaded a mod that has the real airlines and schedules, so. November 525 Kilo November, runway 23 left, clear to land. What? November 525 Kilo November, runway 23 left, clear to land. Why is it telling me a completely different way, uh, not waypoint, call sign? 525 Kilo November, runway 23 left, clear to land. There we go. Um, sometimes the voice. Southwest four seven nine or eight, ready to taxi. Sorry, the voice commands can be a b little bit tricky. Southwest four seven nine or eight, runway two three left. Runway two three left, Southwest four seven nine or eight. Yeah, sometimes you have to say extremely specific things in order to make your commands work. I also I found that out too. Um, we got four, seven, nine, or eight taxiing very slowly, and we got November five to five kilo November and an SR two. Um, landing in a couple minutes. This will be simulated in real time. The entire video. This will be in real time. So. We might expect some long pauses of awkward silence, but um, that's not really my fault. There's nothing really to say or do while I wait. Um, As you can see, like by the scenery, it's no P3D or Microsoft Flight Simulator, but I think the graphics themselves are decent at best. Even with the uh, real color scenery, the real colors, real airlines, that's what they call it. Even with the real airline scenery, I feel like there could be some improvements with the graphics. Even though the color mod is not, it's not supposed to enhance the graphics. I still wish they can be improved. Southwest 3678, runway 23 right, clear, uh, clear, to, clear to land. Sorry, I kind of have a bit of a stuttering problem. Delta 796, pushback approved. Expect runway 23 right. Yeah, sorry. I just have a really weird stuttering problem. Looks like that's triple seven. A badly rendered triple seven, but it still is a triple seven. Raleigh Durham is pretty much my second home airport, so I know most of like the airlines and the flights. Um I don't really see November, November 5 to 5 kilo November doesn't look like they're landing anytime soon. Well, they will be landing, but I think we have enough time. 
Southwest, 4, 7, 9, or 8. Runway 2, 3, left, cleared for takeoff. Runway 2, 3, left, cleared for takeoff. Southwest, 4, 7, 9, or 8. Okay, so... Okay, November 5 to 5, Kilo November is now 170 knots. Southwest 3678 is still at 220. Ground, Delta 796 ready to taxi. Delta 796, runway 23 right. Runway 23 right, Delta 796. Okay, this guy needs to immediately take off the, uh, ASAP. I wish there was an immediate takeoff feature in the simulator. There's just takeoff, no immediate takeoff, just regular takeoff. Okay, it looks like Southwest is uh, maxing out the throttles and they're, ro and they're rolling. I do not see November 525 Kilo November in sight yet. And in the meantime, Southwest 4798 is rolling. I'm not sure what aircraft, or it says it right there. So now Southwest 4798 has just rotated, or they're about to rotate. Rotate. And that will be the first takeoff I have ever done in my uh, Tower 3D Pro career. I'll be recording as many airports as I can. I've done streams a couple. I've done a couple streams earlier, like before this, but this is my first legit takeoff. And Delta 796 is making his way up to runway 23 right. November 525, Kilo November has not uh, loaded in yet. He's going 120 knots. Southwest, oh, hold up. I forgot. Southwest 4798, contact departure. Roger, good day. I almost forgot. When planes depart, you have to tell them to contact departure. I almost forgot that. Okay, it looks like November 525, Kilo November is not rendered in yet. Still, they're much closer than they were earlier when Southwest departed. Is that them? No. November 525, Kilo November. They have to be rendered in by now. Yep, I can see them. Three six seven eight is also making his final approach. Looks like we got a uh, UPS MD-11 over there. That's pretty cool. Tower, American 2877 with you, runway 23 right. November 2877, runway 23 right, clear to land. American 2877, runway 23 right, clear to land. Runway 23 right, clear to land, American 2877. Sometimes I just have to say it a little slower. November 721, Bravo Lima, pushback, uh, pushback approved, expect runway 23 left. I'm actually just going to make him depart out at 23, yeah, 23 left. Delta 7 or 6. Okay, Southwest is on final approach. I'm just going to wait for Southwest to 
exit out of the runway, then I'll give this guy departure clearance. Successful landing. November 525, Kilo November, taxi to the ramp. November 525, Kilo November, taxi to the ramp. Southwest 3678, taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal, Southwest 3678. I had an issue earlier where if I gave any aircraft a lineup and weight clearance, they'd do it. But whenever I gave them takeoff clearance, they just don't even bother moving. So I'm not going to make them line up and wait. I'm just going to wait. November 721, Bravo Lima, runway 23 left. I don't know why it's telling me a different call sign. November 721, Bravo Lima, runway 23 left. November 721, Bravo Lima, runway 23 left. Why is it giving me completely different call signs? You know what? Just send. Two, three left. Negative. November 721, Bravo Lima. Pushback approved. Expect runway 23 left. Oh my god. Ground. 23 left. Pushback approved. 721, Bravo Lima. Southwest 3678, taxi to terminal. Delta 7, 9, or 6, runway 23 right, clear for takeoff. Runway 23 right, clear for takeoff, Delta 7, 9, or 6. Okay, so all the planes have landed. Ground, 721, Bravo Lima, ready to taxi. November 721, Bravo Lima, runway 23 left. Oh, okay, this dude hasn't even, I thought he took off. American 2877 is landing on two, three right, so. Delta 796 still has some time. Not a lot of time, but still enough time to rotate. Just full throttle. Take your time, go full throttle. Okay, this dude's already taking off now. November 525, Kilo November, hold position. Hold position 525, Kilo November. Alright. 7906 is departing. As you can see, more than, a more than enough runway for American 7906. And as soon as this guy rotates, I'm giving him a frequency change to departure. Delta 796, contact departure. Roger, good day. Okay. November 721, uh, Bravo Lima, continue taxi. November 525, Kilo November, continue taxi. Continue taxi 525, Kilo November. Okay, this dude's going to the terminal. All right, runway 23 right now. We can finally see American 78, uh, 2877. Endeavor 5040, runway 23 right, clear to land. Runway 23 right, clear to land, Endeavor 5040. Looks like he's in a CRJ 200. I'm probably assuming it's either going to be Delta, or Delta Connection, or American Eagle. Most of these, like, Endeavor call signs are just, like, um, shorter 
range variations of like other American carrying airlines like Delta or United or American. Ooh, this guy's a triple seven. Or, oh, why, why did I read that as an extra seven? It's a seven three seven. My bad. American twenty eight seventy seven taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal American two eight seven seven. Okay. Is this guy still taxiing? Oh, he's on the runway. November seven two one Bravo Lima runway two three left. You can take off. Runway two three left seven two one Bravo Lima. November seven two one Bravo Lima runway two three left cleared for takeoff. Runway two three left cleared for takeoff seven two one Bravo Lima. There we go. It is November okay? He's still taxiing and he is done for the day. Um, not that much traffic. To be fair, I put my settings at 50% traffic density because I'm still new to this simulator. But, um, in the future, I will definitely increase the density of traffic so there will be much more planes than usual. This is just my first ever video on Tower 3D Pro. Um, back to the tower we go. And as soon as this guy takes off, I'm just gonna take him, hand him straight to departure. Endeavor 5040 is still landing. He's over there. 220 knots is airspeed. Seven two one Bravo Lima contact departure. Roger, good day. Okay, we have both of these planes are. Oh, I forgot about Endeavor. He's going one hundred and ninety knots now. Um, American two eight seven seven is still on his way to the gates. I wish there was like a specific gate that you could provide for said aircraft. Kind of like in real life, you know, when ATC actually schedules like what gate planes are like certain planes are gonna go. I wish that was included in Tower 3D Pro, but I don't think they have it. Again, I'm not sure. This is actually kind of a cool view. We got the uh, triple seven or the seven. I can't even tell if that's a triple seven or a seven six seven because of how badly rendered that plane is. I really want to say that's triple seven, but judging by the winglets, oh, there's winglets. Okay, this might be either a seven six seven or an A330. Because I do not, I know for a fact the 777 does not have winglets. Tower, Air Shuttle 6109 requesting push and start. Air Shuttle 6109 er pushback approved. Expect runway 23 right. Say again. Air Shuttle 6109 pushback approved. Expect runway 23 right. What? Okay. Is this guy landed yet? No, he's still on approach. Air Shuttle 6109er, pushback approved. Expect runway 23 right. Ground. There we Ground. go. Approved. That's. Air Shuttle 6109er. Okay, he finally read back what I said. Looks like it's 
probably going to be a Delta um, Connect. I think it's Delta Connection. I could be experiencing a Mandela effect because I do not know the shorter range version of Delta Airlines name. I think it might be Delta Connection, but I might be wrong. I've always thought it was Delta Connection. Who never? Who knows? Like, I could be having like a little Mandela effect, and it might not be Delta Connection, or Delta. It's either Delta Connection or Delta Regional. We're about to find out. Okay, Endeavor five zero four zero just appeared on the radar. Oh, Ryanair touchdown right there. Was that a tail strike? Endeavor 5040, taxi to the terminal. Taxi to terminal, Endeavor 5040. Air Shuttle 6109 are ready to taxi. Air Shuttle 6109 are runway 23 right. Runway 23 right, Air Shuttle 6109 are. Okay, we got a Southwest 5102. Oh. Southwest 5102, runway 23 left, clear to land. Runway 23 left, clear to land, Southwest 5102. Hold up. How is this dude taxiing? Wait. Endeavor 5040, hold position. Hold position, Endeavor 5040. We're going to let Air Shuttle 6109 or taxi first because I almost saw that guy try to taxi. I'm not sure if he's going left or right. I'm just going to play it safe and hold position on this guy and let him taxi. Also, fun fact, earlier, like back in May of this year, Raleigh-Durham International Airport just introduced Iceland Air as their new airline, and they are now doing nonstop service to Reykjavik, or how, however you pronounce it, on their Boeing 73 MAX. Tampa used to have Iceland Air as their Ireland, or not Ireland, Iceland airline. They don't do that flight anymore from Tampa. Endeavor 5040, continue taxi. Continue taxi, Endeavor 5040. Tower, Frontier Flight 655 requesting push and start. Frontier 655, uh, pushback approved, expect runway 23 left. No, that's not what I said. Frontier 655, pushback approved, expect runway 23 left. Frontier 655, pushback approved, expect runway 23 left. Oh my god, that's not what I'm saying. Frontier 655, pushback approved, expect runway 23 left. I'm done. You know what? Here. Here. Frontier 655, pushback approved, expect runway 23 left. Okay, he understood. Frontier flight 655. 5102 is on final approach for 23 left, which is kind of cool. Wait. I thought I saw a plane landing just a second ago. Okay, now we got Frontier and United. I feel like it's United Express.
Flight 655, ready to taxi. Frontier, Flight 655, runway 23 left. Runway 23 left, Frontier, Flight 655. Okay. On the arrival strip, we still got five uh, Southwest 5102, 23 left. He's going 184 knots. He's slowly making his way towards the airport. So, looks like an uh, air shuttle can have just a straightforward departure while Frontier has to wait. Either way, they're taxiing, so they won't be taking off. Air Shuttle 6109er, runway 23 right, cleared for takeoff. Runway 23 right, cleared for takeoff, Air Shuttle 6109er. Okay, this dude is already situated. Southwest 5102 is now visible from the rendering scale. I don't know how much the rendering is in this uh, game. But either way, he's going 150 knots. 006 heading. As for Frontiers Flight 655, he is making his way. And as for Air Shuttle 6109er, he just got himself aligned with the runway and he is ready for takeoff. Okay, Southwest 5102 is now on final approach. Okay, for a second, I thought that was the Sun Country livery. Oh, that was a rough landing. And as for Air Shuttle 6109er, he is still on the ground, but he's about to rotate. Yeah, it's United Express. Air Shuttle 6109er, contact departure. Roger, good day. Okay, so that's our next departure. Southwest just landed. I'm not gonna make this guy line up and wait because the last time I did, he just stayed on the runway and I don't wanna risk that. Southwest 5102, taxi to the terminal. Southwest 5102, taxi to the terminal. Southwest flight 5102, taxi to the terminal. There we taxi go. To terminal Southwest 5102. There we go. Spirit, wait, not Spirit. Frontier Flight 655, runway 23 left, cleared for takeoff. Runway 23 left, cleared for takeoff, Frontier Flight 655. All right. So far, this day has been pretty slow, but kind of nice. Sometimes slow ATC days are kind of underrated because you're not as, like, overly stressed out. That's why I'm starting with, like, the lowest traffic settings i will definitely spice up the density settings later on in the future once i begin to master this simulator because i still think there's some things i need to learn tower three six charlie charlie requesting push and start three six charlie charlie pushback approved expect runway two three right Southwest 5102. I wish I could get a good camera view on him. But he is making his way up to the terminal. Apparently, the, uh, apparently RDU 
introduced Spirit into the Southwest Terminal earlier this year. 36 Charlie Charlie, taxi to runway 23 right. Taxi to runway 36 Charlie Charlie. No, 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 no. Taxi to 23 right, November 36 Charlie Charlie. Okay, I think I confused this guy. No. November 36 Charlie Charlie, 23 right. 36 Charlie Charlie, runway 23 right. There we go. Okay, we're good. Oh, shoot. Frontier Flight 655, contact departure. Roger. Good day. Okay, there we go. So we have just hit 100 stars, which is very good. Tower, 865, Mark Charlie, with you, runway 23 left. 865, Mark Charlie, runway 23 left, clear to land. Did I just say Mark? Sorry, I meant to say Mike, not Mark. I do not know where this guy's going, but I hope he's going to the terminal. Oh, he's going to the ramp. But why the ramp? There's like two other two other gates open. I mean, who am I to judge? So I guess he's uh chilling at the ramp. Three six Charlie Charlie is slowly making his way to two three right. Eight six five Mike Charlie. He's 185. Oh, we got another Southwest coming in. Okay. I guess we're going to have to wait before he uh, gets into my airspace. Tower, Southwest 5156 with you, runway 23 right. Southwest 5156, runway 23 right, clear to land. We have been, I'm not sure how long I've been doing this for. I'm probably assuming for like over 20 minutes now. I feel like, I mean, what can I say? Time flies when you're having fun. Um, 36 Charlie Charlie is still making his way up to the runway. 5156 is on final approach. 865 Mike Charlie is... Um, Also on final approach. I think at this rate, since Southwest is going by pretty fast, because they're at 220 knots, I think I'm gonna let them land first before I let Charlie Charlie take off. November 36, Charlie Charlie. Not like the horror, like the spirit Charlie, but just the planes call sign Charlie. currently 1524 i'm not sure if that's in eastern time or zulu but um it's 1524 very nice you know what i'm gonna let this guy depart i'm not sure if it's the best choice but i'm letting november 36 charlie charlie take off first November 36, Charlie Charlie, runway 23 right, cleared for takeoff. 36, Charlie Charlie, runway 23 right, cleared for takeoff. Runway 23 right, cleared for takeoff. 36, Charlie Charlie. Yeah, he'll make it. He'll definitely make it. And I think that's the last departure that we're going to be having for a little bit. Unless if some other plane just comes out of nowhere and wants to depart. Is there a way that I can check my schedule 
just to see what planes are coming in because I don't know. Three six Charlie Charlie contact departure. Roger. Good day. Okay, so now I think I might end the video after Southwest five one five six lands. I think I'm just gonna end it here. So far, we've gotten a hundred and ten uh, stars just from this ATC session alone. So that's pretty good. I guess there's nothing to see. Although November 865, Mike Charlie's on approach. Both planes are fairly close to arrivals, so hopefully we'll see some action right here. All right, let's see who makes it first. Southwest 5156 or November 865, Mike Charlie. So far, they're tied. Southwest makes it in first. I don't see Mike Charlie yet. Oh, okay. This is essentially a race between who can get in faster. Mike Charlie had a pretty big lead, but Southwest 5156 is slowly coming back. Okay, yeah, Southwest wins by a mile. We're going to watch this landing, although I'm pretty sure it's going to be Ryanair. Yeah, it looks like we haven't really had any departures other than that uh, Charlie Charlie guy. 5156 is on final approach. And a Ryanair touchdown. Hopefully in the future we get like newer, uh, newer, uh, uh, more modernized of the uh, modded colors for like the real life airlines. Because all of these like liveries are from like 2015, 2016. They have not been updated in God knows how long. And as for Mike Charlie, yeah, he lost the race. Southwest uh, 5156, taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal, Southwest 515. Okay, I did not see that touchdown, but I know for a fact it was a Ryanair because, you know, it's Tower 3D Pro. The landing animations always look like they absolutely Ryanair look crap out of these planes um 865 mike charlie taxi to the ramp taxi to ramp 865 mike charlie yeah i'm ending it here because we haven't had departure ever since uh charlie charlie 
I might get cursed after this stream because I've been saying his name a lot. Who knows? I might as well. Delta one five six four pushback approved. Expect runway two three right. Ground two three right pushback approved. Delta one five six four. I'm just gonna speed time up. I know I said that. This entire video was going to be in real time, but I kind of want to end this session, so speed times four. In the meantime, we're going to watch 5156 do his thing and taxi to the gates. 5156 originated from Tampa, my hometown airport. And so I just want to end this stream by showing you guys this uh, this guy taxi to the gates. Delta 1564 ready to taxi. Delta 1564 taxi to 23 right. Negative. Delta 1564. Delta 1564 runway 23 right. Runway 23 right Delta 1564. Okay, this is Okay, that's the last clearance I'm giving to any of you. And we end it all by the 7-3 taxiing to the ramp. What is it with these planes and taxiing on the ramp? Like, dude, what is this? As for the liverly, liveryless MD-80, I'm just going to let him taxi. Speed run this. Because nobody is arriving this time. The, complete, the completely opposite situation from what we had like five minutes ago. We're having like one to two departures with Tower, American 508 with you runway 23 right. 23 right, American 508, clear to land. American 508, runway 23 right, clear to land. Runway 23 right, clear to land, American Delta 1564, runway 23 right, clear for takeoff. Runway 23 right, clear for takeoff, Delta 1564. Okay, I'm just gonna straight up. Go back to real time and uh, call it a day. I've been in the, I've been controlling for quite some time now. Um, I think a little over 40 minutes now. God damn. I wish there was a better camera view for this, but this is the best we're getting. And he is gone. Oh, never mind. We're going to get a better view. Let me move this. Maybe this could be the thumbnail. Delta 1564, contact departure. Okay, let me move all these back. This is. I think this is how it went earlier. Something like that. So, um... That is going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content. I will definitely be making a lot more um, Tower 3D Pro content if you guys like. I also do P3D, Microsoft, and uh, X-Plane streams, so stay tuned for those. And this is Carson K signing off.